Welcome back to Mass Appeal. We are back with Tinky with a beautiful hat, Tinky Weisblatt. And a beautiful recipe. So we're making uh, a peach icebox cake. Now, for people out there who don't know, what's an icebox cake generally? An icebox cake comes from the word icebox, uh -huh. which is the precursor to the refrigerator before 1930, 1940. People didn't have electric refrigerators because, at least where I live, they didn't have electricity. Mm -hmm. So they had an ice box. It's a beautiful, they're very pretty, huh. wooden structure, tin lined. You would buy ice from the ice man, put it on the top, and then down below you would put your cold things and you had a drip pan at the bottom. And when the ice melted, you had to get new ice. <laughs> Makes so, sense, right? That's, that's how and it ice box so. cake is a cake that takes on its character when put in the ice box or in, in the case of this cake, refrigerated. All right, well, how do we make it? Okay, we make it by whipping cream, which I haven't quite finished doing. So we're gonna just talk about, pretend that we whip the cream, okay? okay? I'm gonna walk you through it rather than show Perfect. you through it. Okay, so you whip a whole bunch of cream and I personally, because I'm using some blueberries, prefer yep. to put a little blueberry cordial in my whipped cream. Okay. But you could use a little raspberry liqueur if you want raspberries on the top. Mm -hmm. We're mostly using peaches for this particular recipe because it's peach season. Yes, oh, and they're so delicious. Bountiful. And the cake comes from, in this case, graham crackers. Now you can also use chocolate mm. wafers, is that if right? If you use the chocolate wafers, I would go for maybe raspberries instead of peaches. If you use the chocolate wafers, it, you make this log that's really cute. So I like that a lot. All right. But I thought, I had never, my grandmother used to make a peach icebox cake, so I thought it would replicate her. So oh, what, that's what, nice. like that, what we would be doing if our whipped cream were whipped is we would put a layer of whipped cream down. Okay, layer of whipped we, cream first. Okay, but we're not, it's not really whipped. It'll just make a total mess. Do you want to do it anyway? Okay. Yeah, you know what, why not? Layer of we'll unwhipped cream. We'll just clean it up cream. later. So you put a layer of that. And just imagine that the imagine cake looks this like this. Imagine this beautifully See, I'm, whipped. I'm not tinky, so I wouldn't make my own whipped cream. I'd probably just buy it. So I could do that, right? Just you buy could absolutely okay. do that. That yes. would make it easier. Then you put, you can put, now you can make this big. I'm just making a little tiny one here. What's the next step? Then? The next more step whipped cream? is more allegedly whipped cream. <laughs> more, more cream. It's not, this not is as whipped cream. as we'd like it, but you know. We can't yeah. all have the things we want. Well, it's fluffier, and I'll, I'll cut into the icebox cake in a minute, and you'll see. Now, you would put lots more, but let's go on. So then you, we would, put you our, would layer, basically. You, yeah, fresh peaches. Okay. Oh, no. And, Seth, I have to tell you, I have a different answer from what Bill Collins said yesterday. Oh, you said no. when you go to the gra grocery store, what are you looking for in yeah. peaches? You're not getting them at the grocery store. Okay, good point. You good. get them at the farmer's market or the orchard. These are from Clarkdale in South Deerfield. You've oh, okay. had Ben Clark on yeah, the show, ben I think. Clark's yeah, Ben Clark's nice guy. So that's what I do. And then you get them and they were picked that day. Mm -hmm. So how perfect is that? You and I have, I have gently marinated these in a little bit of lemon juice and a, even less sugar just a little bit to keep Perfect. them from losing their color and then just to speed it up then you would put more then more graham crackers whipped cream graham crackers whipped and, cream, layer, graham layer, layer. and it ends up looking like that a let's little cut bit like into this. that but baby. you want to make sure you put it in the refrigerator oh, that's, that's the important thing oh. actually you make slices okay. they don't have to be that big there you go, there make you a little go. slice Oops. uh oh yeah i kind of i moved this ice box cake but you know what they say uh it tastes better than it looks right now because I've ruined it. So look at that. Isn't that Actually, something? Actually, you can see the layers of graham cracker. What happens Isn't that something? as it sits in the refrigerator, it should sit for a minimum of six hours and ideally overnight. Well, you know, the studio lights make it difficult for me That's to cut true. things. But it's, Tinky, all, it's all the studio lights. You want to serve anyway, up a chunk? Anyway, what happens is that the moisture moves into the graham crackers or chocolate wafers and mm. it makes it cake-like. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Take a bite. Yeah, let's not worry about plates. No. We're just eating off the of no worries. Easy breezy. And tomorrow. <laughs>